A Precious Little Devil, Chapter 19, Francesca. We tried to follow Marcel, but he disappeared as soon as he left the church. Todd and Axel ran around the property but couldn't find a trace of him. Damn it, he got away, Todd said. Axel shrugged. So? What were you planning on doing with him? Bree came out of the church holding Dandy's hand. I went over to the car and pulled out a bag of spare clothes for the snap ball. We all gathered around Dandy to make sure she wasn't injured or damaged in any way. Did you all enjoy that? A voice said from behind me. I turned around and saw two priests and a nun standing in the doorway. They'd agreed to let us use the church for our experiment, although I didn't think they believed our true intent. They're gonna kill him, Dandy said and started sobbing again. The priests looked at each other. The demon, you mean? The chubby one said. Dandy went over to them and rambled on about how Marcel was hiding from some dudes named Luther, Lucas, Lucian, Luigi, Louis, and Ludwig. They listened and didn't interrupt once. I looked at Bree and she raised an eyebrow. The nun requested the bag of clothes and took Dandy back inside. The chubby priest looked at the four of us. Did he say his name? He asked. Marcel Alejandro Sandoval. You've heard of him? I said. The priest frowned. He was a wanton man fifty years ago. A most wretched person. He was a warlock, a servant of the darkness. Many have lost their lives by his doing. Count yourselves blessed that you have survived an encounter with his kind.